Paul Green, if you're watching, Nest Cafe, Nest Cafe. What a better way to start the day. I had a sausage and bacon bap and a Coke and they charged me 59p. This camera doesn't film very well in the dark, but that's a beautiful spot. Good morning, hello. Some water boiling up. The very last bit of glass, there's not much going on in there. Hopefully, it will last around out some nice piping hot water. In the meantime, while that's taking its while, I'm going to pack away. So, hello, yes, thanks for joining me once again. Another wild camp, uh, this time in Lincolnshire. I was right when I said in my last video I could have done with some gloves, some four finger gloves, because it's a little bit cold this morning. It's digit, single digit temperatures, it's borderline. Slept well, had a really good night's sleep, it was nice and warm. I'm going to get packed away and uh, get moving again. The uh, only thing about this spot overnight was the ground's really, really soft. Well, folks, I'm going to stop right there because uh, <laughs> the gas has actually finally gone out. So my water, it's not boiling warm, but it's enough for porridge and a cup of coffee. I think I'm just going to get by on that. So as always, two bags of oats because one is never enough. Yeah, it's fine. There's, there's some steam coming off it. That's fine. I've seen somebody go past on a bike. Not giving too many clues away. But uh, yeah, it's a good spot this because it's off a cycleway. So o'clock in the morning out. Who goes out on the bikes? Apart from commuters. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Paul Green, if you're watching, Nest Cafe, Nest Cafe. What a better way to start the day. Looks like it's going to be an okay morning. And it's going to be raining a little bit later, so I'm looking forward to that. But today is the 2nd of October, two days into my October cycling challenge, which I can remind you what it is. Uh, throughout this month, I'm going to be raising money for St Andrew's Hospice. They are based in Grimsby, supplying palliative care for people with terminal illnesses. I'm originally from Grimsby, so that is a it's a local hospice to me. Even though I've been up here in the Scunthorpe for a little while, uh, I do go home every autumn. So it's a, always been a charity that's been close to my heart. I'm going to be picking some more charities as we go later on in the year as well. So I think around here around Scunthorpe, but. It said October cycling challenge when I saw it online. I was like, cycling challenge? Yes, please. <laughs> so I'm in team Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Grumpy Cycling Club, along with three others. So between us, hopefully we'll get some good miles in and raise lots of cash for St. Andrew's Hospice. I'll put a link to the hospice down in the description below. If you could put a few quid in, that'd be fantastic. Right, I best get moving. Ready to go, just got to put this in and quickly leave the joggers on for about five minutes before we're whipping them off, I think. So, this is my bag. The uh, 10 pegs uh, hold here on the uh, top tube, running all the way across, held on with some uh, Voulet straps. Quad lock, it's brand new, that's been brilliant so far. Uh, I need to work out how to try and get one of the mounts onto my either the cube or the sonder, it's probably the sonder. The problem is, because it's got TT bars in there, I can't find the right position to put them out. It's, uh, it's this one is out, out front mounts and I can't get it anywhere where it can get on and turn properly and not interfere with anything else on the bike like the cycling computer. So, scratching my head a little bit. <laughs> anyway, about to get going. It's five past eight, nearly done. Just got to clear that mess up over there. Woken up to headwind. <laughs> I knew I would because I'm expecting tailwind all the way back. 
also expect a few spots of rain which is why I think when I get to Newark I always plan to like be as quick as possible no cafe stops today got a packet of crisps and an apple with me so I'm probably going to dip in a shop somewhere at least buy some water or, or stop at a cemetery autumn is definitely here <laughs> It's definitely arrived here in the UK. It's a DHB. I've only worn it a handful of times. And I think I bought it in 2020. I uh, haven't worn it very often. But it's kind of a winter, definitely a winter one though. Great for really cold days. Like today, where it's kind of borderline really. It's about six or seven at the moment. It's quite unusual for a southwesterly cold front <laughs> it is very nippy very nippy indeed right i believe i'm coming into the edge of newark now so that means the wind will be on my back this is an interesting part of newark i've never seen before i thought i'd go somewhere different but with the main roads a little bit i actually just stopped a sandwich shop, Donner's and Tasty Bites. I had a sausage and bacon bap and a Coke and they charged me 59p. That's like <laughs> a bargain. I thought, God, I'll have that. We're back inside and uh, meant to be £4.59. So, yeah, that's sorted. Oh, there's the view of the castle over there. Because, uh, being honest, they gave me a box of. Uh, cheesecake so i've got that in my back pocket now well that'll be a little bit of a treat later on that's the main road there and my route is taking me well it takes me onto the main road anyway well hopefully a bit of off off road section get myself out of newark get moving don't want to get wet hang around too long oh some whiffy smells north of newark the winds are <laughs> downwind of uh, the well i'm downwind of the british sugar factory so it is but a really stinky smell Feel the uh, benefit of the tailwind now. Just on the back road, I think it's Norwell first or Cromwell. Can never remember which. On it. Sun is trying to get out as well. Look. Here, yeah, back road into well, North Muscombe. So just kind of riding alongside the A1 over there. There's a travel lodge down here. I always wondered if you could actually reach it on by a bike. I don't think you can because you have to go on the A1 and you're not going to see me on a, what is essentially a motorway. <laughs> oh, well, great, that was good timing, wasn't it? <laughs> Just stopped at uh, Carlton upon Trent. Not only to have a cheesecake slice, I just stopped outside this uh, old blacksmith's. It's a listed building. It says, gentlemen, as you pass by upon this shoe, Pray Cass and I, if it be too straight, I'll make it wider. I'll ease the horse and please the rider. If lame from shoeing, as they often are, you may have them eased with the greatest care. I, I, <laughs> I was reading it like it was going to rhyme at the very end. I've got everything I need to get home now. A couple hours. Cheese slice in the back pocket. A bit of coke left, some water. What more do you need? Just about to uh, leave Ledborough and head into Ragnall. Let's see if King Kong is home. Oh, I see ya. Hello, Kong. Hello. Just passing through Church Laneham. Now stopping today for the lovely riverside shot. This is what happens on the top screen there when you think you're going the right way. Because you've stopped. Because <laughs> you've stopped following your uh, GPS. So it's gone up a little bit distance, which is fine because I needed it anyway. I was just shy of 100k. Well, coming up to uh, West Burton and then the other side, roundabout into Saunderby, Gainsborough roundabout. 
and then Beckenham, which will be my uh, second cheesecake stop today. Unfortunately, there's only two. Oh, that's a good looking sign. Road head closed. One day yesterday. Hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. I always encourage you to get involved in the comments. Tell me what you've been up to this weekend. It's been fantastic. Obviously, the uh, forecast shied you away from getting on your bike. I always try and do something, if it's a smaller ride, try and get a few miles. I mean, it's not super cold, it's dry. So, you know, if it's for an hour, get yourself out there. It's all good exercise. Oh, it's that other popular YouTuber, Leonard calls it, Bank of Fitness. And the Bank of Fitness needs looking after for our autumn, winter. You have to choose your days a bit better, don't you? Spice Spice, the weather's arrived early. It's on my heels. And there it is on the screen. You don't need to see the detail where I am, but look at all that yellow and red. This is a courtesy of rain today. It's a rainfall radar. Updates every 15 minutes. And it's uh, getting close. I actually can see the sky behind me. It's very black now. It's not supposed to be a lot of rain, it's just quite persistent, so I want to get ahead of it. Still got about an hour to ride, so oh, about 45 minutes, 50 minutes an hour. Got a rain jacket if I need it, hopefully not. 20k to go. <laughs> Potentially a very wet 20k to go. You never know, you might see me with a rain jacket on next. Got a bit of a junction coming up. Don't go right or left. Route says right. I'm thinking left, because <laughs> more direct. Nearly finished folks, About half an hour I think. Again, if you want to donate towards my charity, St Andrew's Hospice, anytime in the month of October, links down below. 10 minutes ago, I've been counting down the villages. Last one, Belton, still dry. Right, for me, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.